to my channel. My name is Hello Alice. Nice to meet you. I make art videos. Today I'm going to be showing you all my camera setup. So my lighting, the camera that I film on, which is currently filming right now, um, and all of that good stuff. So if you've ever wanted to make YouTube videos, specifically art YouTube videos, just go ahead and keep watching so that you can see what my setup is. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this is basically what my desk setup looks like when I have everything out. The only thing that isn't out is the camera because I'm currently using it to film on. I do also have on the side here um, a small little desk with my laptop on. Um, so I keep that there in case I want to watch movies or something while I am filming and also for the webcam that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all of my different pieces of equipment and hopefully this will be helpful for you. So this is the first piece of equipment that I want to show you, which is my tripod, for lack of a better word, for how I film basically straight overhead. It's basically this arm, and as you can see, it connects to the top of my hutch, and it connects via this little clamp right here. So that's really useful if you have a hutch or anything above your desk, you can use that to connect it. Um, so that it's directly over the top of your desk. So I don't remember the exact name of this, but I will try to find the Amazon link and link it down below. It does have this like bendy arm, which is actually really quite hard to bend. It's quite stiff, but that does mean that it stays in place. Um, this part is attached via like a little ball and socket so that it can rotate around, but I have masking tape on that right now because my DSLR is a little bit heavy for it. But I do have a solution, which I'll show you guys when I show you my camera. Uh, right now I can't show you it because I'm filming with it. So this is a really, really great piece of equipment if you do want to film from above. This is my Logitech webcam and uh, this is actually what I used to film my videos on completely but now I have my new camera. So this is a really really great webcam. It's the Logitech HD 1080p and um, so it's not the newest model but the one right before that. It's less than a hundred dollars. Um, it can move around. It's got like all of these different see like things, this moves, this moves, so you can really get lots of like different angles. Um, so it's pretty easy to get like an overhead shot with this. In fact, you could literally just hook this to a hutch or something. Um, it does have a couple flaws. Um, you can't really zoom in very much on this. You can only zoom in one level, um, so it's not that's not super great, but it doesn't require an SD card because it runs straight through this cord and records directly on your computer via their webcam software. And the webcam software is pretty good. Like I said, the zoom isn't great, but you can adjust the exposure, the color balance, um, all of that good stuff, saturation, um, gain, everything pretty much that you could adjust on a camera, you can adjust on their webcam software. So that's really great. Um, if any of you are wanting to get started making art videos, I would highly recommend this webcam. I think that the quality is really great for the price. I think that it's easy to use um, and I think that it's definitely an affordable option for someone that's wanting to start because you don't even have to buy a memory card. You literally just need this and your computer and you're good to go. So it's on a basic tripod. It's by Sunpack um, and I will show you guys. So this is the tripod, um, Sunpack. 5200D. Um, it's just your basic tripod. Oh, hello, December. What I do is I actually have it leaning up against my desk so that I can get an overhead angle. Because um, what I want is an angle that's like overhead and to the side slightly, um, just for a more interesting angle to see things a little bit more closer and all that. So. Uh, I also use this tripod if I'm filming talking videos, so like if the camera's in front of me, this is the tripod that I use. It's just a basic tripod, it's nothing fancy, it was just one of the cheaper ones that I found on Amazon. In terms of lighting, um, I use a variety of different light sources. I use the native lights in my desk that I, well I mean I put them in there myself, but it's just like an LED light. And then I have this desk light. Um, and this desk light has a daylight bulb in it. Um, I try to stay away from warm light as much as possible because it skews the colors. So this does have a white light in it. And then I also make sure to have all of my apartment lights on just because I like my videos to be very bright and very illuminated. However, I do have studio lights and this is kind of what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off so that the camera can focus on it a little bit better. So this is what the light looks like. I have two of them. They're by Cowboy Studio. So it comes with a photography bulb and then these guys which hold the bulb and then a light stand. It came with two of the tall ones. 
three light bulbs, three light bulb holders for lack of a better wor word. It also came with a small stand and two umbrellas. As you can see right now, I have the two with the tall stands out. Um, I actually have broken my third bulb, although I didn't really use it. I also don't have the umbrellas on. I have them high and pointing down because I try to minimize the shadow that's coming from me. Um, I did used to use the umbrellas, but with my current new camera, uh, this is just what I found works the best for my lighting situation. I do use the uh, umbrellas if I'm filming my face, so um, I just filmed some intros uh, for videos and I filmed my face in them and I did use the umbrellas for that because it helps to soften the light lighting and uh, lose like harsh shadows. I really like the lighting to be bright in my art videos so right now I don't use the umbrellas, that's just personal preference. So this is what the umbrellas look like when they're folded up. I'm not going to unfold one but they're your basic photography umbrellas. Um, they're just white and they diffuse the light really well. I would like to get a ring light in the future, but that's just not something that I have at this time. As I said, the lights are from Cowboy Studio. No, this is not a sponsored video. They were just cheap on Amazon. They did come, however, in this nice little case. This is what the case looks like. It's long, it's zippered, it holds everything really well. If you open it up, you can see inside the other one of the little holders, the short desktop tripod, and then two mailing, uh, letter bubble wrap letters that I use to keep the um, light bulbs protected after the other light bulb broke. So this may not be equipment, but as you all know, I do like to burn a candle in almost all of my videos. Right now and for almost like the past like seven months, I've been burning the white tea and ginger candle from Bath and Body Works. So I thought I would show you guys it. I really like these candles. They smell really nice and I love the label on this. I think it's so beautiful and I think it adds a really nice touch to my videos. I also sometimes like to add a little plant into my videos to add a little bit more of an aesthetic quality and this is just a little fake plant that I got from Target um, that I like to add into my videos as well. So I think that accessories are a really cute thing to add so I thought I would show you guys that since they are kind of part of my camera setup. So I did say that I would show you how I attach my camera to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. So this actually comes out, so you can just press this bottom part and slide it out and drop it on the floor. And then I screw that into the bottom of my camera. This is what it looks like screwed into the bottom of my camera and then I just go ahead and slide it back in here. So I slid that back in there, sorry I couldn't do that with just one hand. Um, and as you can see, it's just a little wobbly um, just because of how heavy this is. So I do do one thing to give it extra security and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that is. So as you can see, what I've done is I have taken the strap of the camera and I have pulled it up and wrapped it around the top of the tripod, again for lack of a better word, um, and that helps keep the top half of the camera steady and I'm not worried about the camera drooping while I'm filming. So the last thing to show you is obviously my cameras. And I do apologize for the quality decrease a little bit. I'm filming with my phone because I do want to show you both of the cameras that I have. So I have two cameras. Uh, one is old, one is new. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing you the new camera. So this is my new camera. I got it for Christmas, so I've only used it for a couple videos so far, but I'm very, very pleased with how it's performing so far. It is a low tier DSLR. Um, it's the Canon Rebel T5, EOS Canon Rebel T5. Um, and like I said, I'll put links to all of this stuff down below. Um, I think this is a great camera. Uh, I really, I love the quality of the videos that I get. I love, um, I can get like depth of field and um, I feel like I can do a lot more stuff with it. It does also have its drawbacks. It can only film for about 12 minutes at a time. I think this is really important to talk about. Not a lot of people talk about this in their videos and it's especially important for artists because we're frequently filming for, you know, three plus hours and then speeding it up 
So this camera can only film up to about 12 minutes. And the reason for that is because of restrictions, like labeling restrictions, um, unless I, for a camera to be labeled a camera, not a camcorder, and then they have to pay different taxes on it, I believe, it has certain restrictions on how long it can film. So usually those restrictions are 30 minutes or four gigabytes. So the four gigabytes is what kind of gets you when I'm filming at the quality that I film, I can only get about 12 minutes in. So it is what it is. However, um, I have filmed with things that can film, you know, continuously and after trying both, I do think that it is worth the trade-off for me um, to have the higher quality in my videos. However, I do have to set an alarm on my phone because sadly this camera doesn't make a beep sound when it stops recording. So that is the other part that really kind of stinks. But it is a really, really great camera. I can also use it to take photos of my artwork. So I really, really like that. And this is the camera that I was using beforehand. It is a camcorder and it's the Canon Vixia HFR600, as you can see written there on the side. And it is a decent camera. I know that a few other YouTubers use this camera. It is great because it can record continuously. After 30 minutes, it just creates a new file. So that's really awesome. It does have everything you need to film art YouTube videos. You can lock the zoom, or lock the focus rather. You can manually adjust the exposure. Um, I just wasn't personally happy with the quality that I was getting from it. I felt like things looked kind of grainy and fuzzy and I really wanted crisp, bright videos, especially at this point. It's just something that was a huge priority for me. Um, also, I couldn't take pictures of my artwork artwork with it which left me um, kind of confined to what my scanner can fit in, in and my scanner cannot fit a lot in in terms of size. So it is a good camera um, especially if you're starting out um, but I would recommend for very beginners to go with the uh, webcam. I found myself using the webcam more often than not because I felt like the quality was just as good if not better than the camcorder. One other good thing about the camcorder that I forgot to mention is that you can plug it in while you're filming so I never had to worry about the battery running out as long as it was near a plug. I could plug it in and record for 12 hours and not worry about that. So that was another really, really good thing about this camera. Okay, well that is it. That is my whole camera setup. I didn't mention my mic, just so you all know. I do use my cell phone to record my voiceovers. So I just use a voice recording app on my cell phone. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I will post the links to everything down below. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a video. I do upload every Friday. And thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.